Have you ever wondered about the lesser known facts and memorable scenes that surround the 1954 movie The Cane Mutiny? This classic film, adapted from Herman Wauk's novel, delves into the complexities of authority, responsibility, and loyalty within the confined quarters of a Navy ship during World War II. But beyond the gripping narrative, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? Is there a particular scene or moment in this film that has had a lasting impact on you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The Kane Mutiny, directed by Edward Dimitrick, boasts an ensemble cast that includes Humphrey Bogart, Joss Fur, and Van Johnson. Set against the backdrop of a grueling sea voyage, the film explores the tensions that arise among the crew, leading to a mutiny and a courtroom drama. So, before we dive into the captivating anecdotes and insights about this timeless movie, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Kane mutiny. Your thoughts and recollections add depth to the rich tapestry of cinematic history. Let's explore this cinematic gem together, filled with intrigue and moral dilemmas, and uncover the hidden gems that make it a must-watch for any film enthusiast. Share your thoughts, and let's unravel the secrets of the Kane Mutiny. The film The Kane Mutiny from 1954 is notable for its unique collaboration with the United States Navy. The movie begins with an opening epigraph that declares there has never been a mutiny in the U.S. Navy. The Navy allowed the production to use its equipment and locations, but it insisted on this statement. The Navy didn't seek credit, just the disclaimer. Initially, the Navy was hesitant to support the film and had concerns about its portrayal of Navy life. Rear Admiral Robert Hickey, the information chief of the Navy, wrote to the producers, expressing worries that the film would misrepresent Navy life. The Navy even suggested changing the title to The Kane Incident. Ultimately, the Navy's script revisions were minimal, and the film was approved for production. This unique cooperation with the Navy allowed the film to use real Navy equipment and locations, adding authenticity to the portrayal of life on the US. Kane. It's an interesting aspect of the film's production and the Navy's role in shaping the narrative. The 1954 movie The Kane Mutiny is notable for a particular scene that nearly turned tragic for actor Van Johnson. He performed a risky swim sequence without a stunt double. The scene took place in the waters outside Pearl Harbor, where sharks were known to inhabit. To protect Johnson, the Navy had armed sailors on the ship and in boats around him. During the swim, at least one shark approached him, but it was quickly shot by the marksmen, ensuring Johnson's safety. This real-life drama adds a thrilling dimension to the film. The 1954 movie The Kane Mutiny had an interesting backstory in its development. An October 1952 New York Times article revealed that there were two scripts prepared for the movie. One included a romance between characters Willie and May, while the other, shorter version focused solely on the action aboard the US Kane and the subsequent court-martial. This dual script approach highlights the creative decisions made during the adaptation of Herman Wauk's novel to the big screen. It reflects the choices made to either emphasize the romantic subplot or streamline the story to concentrate on the core mutiny and legal drama. The movie eventually brought to life the tension and conflict among the crew members, especially their doubts about Captain Quig's leadership. Interestingly, the film chose to portray Quig as a victim of battle fatigue or post-traumatic stress disorder, in contrast to the novel's portrayal of him as a madman. This change allowed the filmmakers to navigate a potentially contentious issue with the U.S. Navy, which was concerned about how it might be perceived in the film. In the end, the Kane Mutiny not only became a classic courtroom drama, but also serves as an example of the adaptation process in Hollywood, where creative choices can significantly impact the final cinematic product. The movie The Kane Mutiny from 1954 is a notable film for several reasons. One interesting fact about the movie is that it marked a spectacular comeback for director Edward Dimitrick, who was formerly one of the Hollywood Ten, and had been jailed for contempt of Congress and lying under oath during the House Un-American Activities Committee investigation due to his previous membership in the American Communist Party. Despite his controversial past, the film's effectiveness was such that Dimitrick even received a nomination from the Directors Guild of America. This comeback was a significant moment in his career. The Kane Mutiny is a classic film that tells the story of a naval mutiny during World War II. 
While the movie may not directly address the political and racial issues of the time, it is a gripping tale of conflict and responsibility on a U.S. Navy ship. The film's focus is on the crew's growing concerns about their unstable captain, Queek, and the decision they must make when they believe he is unfit for command. It's worth noting that the film's screenplay, adapted from the novel and stage version, omitted some of the more provocative and politically charged elements present in the original material. The character Greenwald's drunken confrontation with Kiefer in the film is less politically explicit than in the novel and stage version, which contained direct references to Nazism and the Holocaust. The film chose to focus more on the internal dynamics and moral dilemmas faced by the crew. Overall, The Kane Mutiny is a powerful and thought-provoking film that stands the test of time, even with the adaptation's differences from the source material. Edward D. Mitrick's successful return to directing in the wake of his controversial past adds an intriguing layer of history to the film's production. The movie The Kane Mutiny from 1954 is a gripping naval drama inspired by Herman Wauk's experiences during World War II. Wauk served as a communications officer on two post-World War I Clemson-class destroyer minesweepers, the US Zane and US Southard. In the film, the character Kiefer is loosely based on Wauk himself. The story revolves around the mutiny on the US Kane and the subsequent court-martial of its officers. It explores themes of authority, loyalty, and the moral dilemmas faced by the crew. One of the most memorable scenes in the movie is when Captain Queek, played by Humphrey Bogart, is in the witness chair. Interestingly, in this scene, viewers can spot two scars on Bogart's upper lip. These scars were a result of an incident during World War I when Bogart, then a sailor, was attacked by a prisoner he was escorting from the Norfolk Navy base. The prisoner struck him in the mouth with handcuffs while trying to escape, although some dispute the exact details of the incident. The Kane Mutiny is also notable for being the film debut of Robert Francis, a promising actor groomed for stardom by Columbia Pictures. Unfortunately, he made only four films before his untimely death in a private plane crash in 1955 at the age of 25. This classic movie offers a thought-provoking look at the challenges of military service and the complexities of leadership and loyalty. It continues to be a significant work in the world of cinema, showcasing stellar performances and a compelling narrative. As we bid adieu to the cinematic voyage of the Kane Mutiny, let's take a moment to pause and reflect on the profound impact this 1954 masterpiece has had on all of us. This timeless tale of honor, loyalty, and the relentless complexities of human nature has woven its way into the fabric of our film history, and perhaps even into the tapestry of our own lives. The Kane Mutiny is not just a movie, it's a mirror reflecting the multifaceted dimensions of human character. It compels us to consider the choices we make in our own lives, the fine line between right and wrong, and the tumultuous sea of morality we navigate daily. The characters in this film, from the enigmatic Captain Quig to the determined Ensign Keith, are like reflections of ourselves, showing us the beauty and vulnerability of our own strengths and flaws. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and cherished memories of the Kane Mutiny. Did it make you ponder the meaning of duty and honor? Did it transport you back to a time long gone, reminding you of the values held dear by those who came before us? Or perhaps it was the powerful performances that left you in awe. Share your personal connection with this classic, and let the world know how it has left an indelible mark on your heart and mind. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cinematic seas of the Kane Mutiny. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. So, now it's over to you. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories of this cinematic gem, and we're excited to see the unique perspectives y'all bring to this enduring masterpiece. Until next time, keep those reels rolling and those memories alive.